mighty weapons through God. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 to 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. So the Apostle Paul reminds us here that we are engaged in conflict. Uh, we are involved in warfare. And he says, but though we walk in the flesh, that means though we are living natural lives, we do not war according to the flesh. That means we do not engage in this conflict using natural means and methods. But he says in verse 4 that the weapons of our warfare, the, the artillery that we use, the, the weapons we use uh, are, are not carnal. They're not human invented. They're not human efforts, but they are mighty through God. So the weapons you and I use in our warfare, in our conflict against the enemy, in our conflict against the circumstances and our situations of life, the things that we battle with, the things that we fight with are weapons given to us by God and are weapons that are mighty. Meaning there is nothing greater or superior than what God has given to us. There is no arrow of the enemy. There is no fiery dart that Satan can throw which is in any way superior to the weapons God has given you and me. And, uh, and, and think about those weapons that God has given to us. He's given us His Word. His Word is a powerful weapon. He's given us the armor of God that, put, that we put on that protects us. And he's given us the shield of faith, faith as a shield with which we protect ourselves as well as we advance against the enemy. He has given us the name of Jesus which gives us authority here on earth as, a, as representing Christ and walking in his authority. He has given us uh, uh, the, the anointing of the spirit that the spirit of God himself operates through us, uh, moves through us. Uh, so all of these weapons that we have, praise as a weapon, prayer as a weapon, uh, the blood of the Lamb, the testimony to the blood of the Lamb, all of these are our weapons that we can use. And every weapon God has given to us, they are mighty, they are powerful, they are, they far, are, they are, they are far superior to any fiery dart of the enemy. And with these weapons, we overcome what we face, what we are faced with. And much of this battle goes on in our mind. And so the, the Apostle Paul writes here that with these weapons, we pull down strongholds, we cast down imaginations, we throw down arguments and things that are in the realm of the mind that try to cripple us, that try to intimidate us, that try to put fear in us. But we win the battle in the mind, we can win the battle in life. And the weapons he has given to us are mighty to get the job done. The job will be done. I want you to understand that whatever situation you're facing, God has given you his weapons by which you can win. There is no reason why you should lose. Use the weapons God has given you. You will come out a winner. His weapons will not fail. He's given it to us. They are mighty through God. Let's pray. Father, I just ask that you will inspire us to take the weapons you've given to us and to use them in warfare and to see victory time and time and time again in every situation, in every circumstance, because you've declared that your weapons are mighty. Thank you, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.